Welcome to the Daily 15 with Pastor Jessica. Let's do our songs. Join with us. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Let's do that one one more time. Do it with us. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. All right, the next song. O-B-E-D-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Doing exactly what the Lord commands. Doing it joyfully. Whoopee. Action is the key to immediately to show that you believe. And our last song has action, so follow along. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, 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 and you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow. Grow, grow, but if you neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, then you'll shrink, 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 and you'll shrink, 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 and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. But that's not us. We read our Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. We, we read our Bible, pray every day, and we grow, grow, grow. Good job, guys. Awesome. Well, today we're going to be looking in the Bible, which is, join so they can see you, Abigail. We're going to be looking in the Bible, which is, which is the truth. Say that with me. The Bible, Bible is, is the, the truth. truth. The Bible is alive and full of? Power. The Bible is alive and full of? Power. Yes, it's power. So power is going on the inside of you. Power in your spirit. And then the Bible is also our daily bread right. it's food for our spirit it's our daily bread yes it's also the sword of the spirit the bible is the sword of the spirit good and the bible also is light the bible, the bible is, is light. light good and so we're going to be looking at the book of daniel <coughs> now do you know don't say it abigail is daniel in the old testament or the new testament it's found in a more of the beginning part well it's actually more of like the middle but there's two main parts the old testament and the new testament daniel's found in the old testament remember we've been going over how matthew is the first book did i say new testament or old testament you said old testament okay. in the old, old testament. testament yes so we went over how matthew starts our new testament and then there's gospels matthew mark, mark luke, luke and john, john. Those are the four Gospels. So we're looking in the Old Testament today in the book of Daniel. And it's chapter 3 and verse 14. Daniel chapter 3 and verse 14. And Abigail is going to be teaching you about three Hebrew boys who took a stand for God. And so miraculous things happen. Because when we, we, we obey God, we are protected. Amen. And so she's going to teach you from Daniel chapter 3. All right, let's get started. All right, Daniel chapter 3. We're going to start in verse 14. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar responded and said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? That's our, the three people we are going to be talking about. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That you do not serve my gods or worship the golden image that I have set up. 
So these golden, so a golden image is something that's made out of gold. It's an idol. It's something that King Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to worship. It could be a cow. It could be a goat. It was something he wanted to worship. It was not the true God that we worship. It was not living. But they wanted them to worship it then as God. Yes. So they wanted them to worship like this golden image. What they wanted him, they wanted them to worship as God. But is worship the image as God. Worship the image as God. Let's keep going. Now, if you're ready, at the moment you hear the sound of the horn. Horn. Oh, that's not a good horn. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We have a missing part. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, now if you're ready, at the moment you hear the sound of the horn, flute, lyre, trigon, and then so on of the types of instruments and all kinds of music to fall down and worship the image that I've made very well. If you do not worship, you will be immediately be cast into the midst of the furnace of blazing fire. So, so, so the king told Daniel what? I mean, he told them, the three boys, what? What was he telling them they needed to do? You need to bow down to this golden statue as God when you and hear worship. and worship it when you hear the sounds of music. And if you don't, he was threatening them to throw To it. do what? What was he going to do to them? Throw them in a fiery furnace. Was that was that true? Was that did this really happen? Yes, this happened. The Bible is the truth, and we love truth. Okay. Um, and what God is there who can deliver you out of my hands? But listen to this: what Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. Oh Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to give you an answer concerning this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve is able to deliver us from the furnace of the blazing fire, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. So what were these? So Abigail, did the three Hebrew boys, did they serve the true living God? Yes. The God of the Bible? Yes. Yes. So what did they say? It doesn't matter. We don't need to give you an answer. If it is so, if we get thrown into the fiery furnace, our God, whom we serve, is going to be able to protect us. So what did they believe? If we take a stand, then God will protect us. Amen. Amen. If we take a stand by what? By not worship by worshiping only the true God, not this weird idol. So what if somebody tells you, "Oh, Buddha is real or oh, Muhammad is real. You should worship them." Are they true gods? No. Are they living gods? No. So you Abigail is 10 years old. What are you going to choose to do? I'm going to worship the only one true living God. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, yes, we are going to only worship the one true living God. And what happened? Because of that, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were, th they ended up being thrown into the fiery furnace. But guess what? Why were they thrown in? Because they didn't worship this, the um, idol that King wow. Nebuchadnezzar. Wow, so they got thrown into the fire because they didn't worship the true living God. Yes, but guess what happened? When they were thrown No, in, no, I was wrong. Excuse me. They got thrown into the fire because they didn't worship the false God. The false God, yes. So when they were thrown into it, what happened is King Nebuchadnezzar looked in and he was like, wait, I see a fourth. Then we throw in three men. I see a fourth one. But guess who that fourth one was shown in? Guess, guess. Don't tell him right away. So it looked like there was a fourth man in the fiery furnace. And then he said, it looks like the son of God. So Jesus, or God, had come into the fiery furnace. Jesus. Jesus to come in and to protect them. And then guess what? When Nebuchadnezzar called them out, not one, they didn't smell like smoke. Not one hair had been burned. God's supernatural protection. So what do I want you to get out of this today? When you obey God and don't bow down to any false idols, not living gods, then you will be protected no matter what is threatened against you. What are the, what the consequences? So are. what happens if people at school tell you, and they tell you, oh, God isn't real. Jesus isn't real. Stop praying to him. What 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 are you going to do? Are you going to do the word of God? Yes, I'm going to keep on praying no matter what. And you're going to keep on worshiping who? Yes. 
Jesus, one living God. Amen. The Son of the living yes. God. Yes. Amen. Amen. So. Well, we love you. You can finish. You can go and even just read the book of Daniel, it's chapter true. 3, through the whole chapter. Have your mom, have your dad, have your brother, have your sister. Read it with you because it's powerful. It actually really did happen. And it encourages us and strengthens us to be bold like the three Hebrew boys in obedience to God and standing and not denying him, not denying the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. And his and not denying Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Amen. Amen. So we bless you, we love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hold on. Hold on, babe. The boys want to say bye. bye.